Good morning, y'all. Happy Saturday. Um, I hope the wind's not too bad today. It's uh, three days that the wind's been blowing. Um, so we're going to just try to work through that because I do want to shoot this video uh, today about uh, my hammock setup and the evolution of my hammock over the years. So thanks for watching. Stick with me here. and We're going to walk through um, the original hammock I started with, the various suspension systems that uh, I used over time, and uh, where I am today. So stick with me for a second. I'll turn the camera around and I'll take you through the suspension systems, and then we'll walk over to the tree and uh, I'll show you how they uh, get set up and we'll go from there. Okay, so the first hammock I had was the ENO Double Nest. And uh, like I said earlier, I've used that thing for many, many years through a lot of scout trips and things like that, summer camp with the scouts. Uh, anytime we went out on a weekend camp out and there was a place to hammock, I carried that. And uh, it's super comfortable. I really liked it. Um, and the only reason I really changed is because it has a separate bug net and that bug net is kind of heavy. It's about a pound. Um, and I did not want to carry that with me on the Appalachian Trail. So that's why I uh, eventually evolved into another hammock, which I'll cover here in just a second. My original suspension system was the ENO slap straps. Yep, here you go. The slap strap. Um, I didn't know any better when I got these. Um, I think that's about the only thing that was really available at the time. But you can see, like, right out of the gate, one of the downsides is the loop to attach your hammock to are pretty far apart. Right? They're probably uh, at least a foot apart. So, you know, sometimes just a couple of inches makes a big difference in a hammock setup. Whether you're sliding down to the feet or, you know, you're creeping up toward the head or whatever... Um, it's, a, it's crucial to have, you know, to be able to have that thing hung right to lay right. So, and those straps really aren't terribly long. So you have to really find the right size trees to be able to wrap that slap strap around. And again, I'll show you how those set up in just a second. Okay, so I've come over to uh, my maple tree. I don't have a lot of trees in my yard, so it's it, hammock camping in my backyard is nearly impossible. That's why I built a, a, a DIY backyard stand for my hammock, which I'll show you in a minute. But this maple tree here is just too big to wrap the slap straps around, so I'm gonna go up here to this limb and show you how that works. So hang on just a second. Okay, so what I did was I just wrapped the slap strap around a tree, and then you can see that it's pretty far basically between each loop to hang your hammock and I am going to hang my ENO hammock here in a second so you can see what that looks like um, I think that the system will reach over to the swing set there all right okay I've got the ENO double nest hammock hung uh, the wind is not cooperating with me today so bear with us while we do bear with me while we do that um, one of the things I did last year before we went to Grayson Highlands was I changed out this part of the system the carabiner and the uh, continuous loop uh, to lighten it up a little bit uh, ENO builds these things with a thick piece of rope and a heavy I don't know if it's aluminum or steel carabiner but it's heavy duty and it's heavy so I went with a lighter weight carabiner and replaced the continuous loop it's really easy to do a lot of YouTube videos on that out there but this is the hammock um, I've, like I said I've used this thing for years I have spent a lot of nights in this thing over time um, winter and summer camping but it's super comfortable it's really wide um, if you don't get it hung right you hang like a banana it's, it, it's shaped like a banana and you you sleep almost like a V and that's not comfortable at all um, but I did learn over time to kind of lay in it diagonally put my head up there I would literally have to just hang my feet out over the side here um, to do that but that you know that doesn't work in the winter time because you got to have an underquilt and stuff like that but you can see that with these loops that it's hard to get this thing adjusted. I mean, it's a it's at least a foot between the loops on the slap straps. So that, that makes it really difficult to adjust your hammock and get it just right and comfortable. But that was the, the original straps I had uh, that I went with. And so, you know, it, it just took time to learn and figure out that there are better systems out there. And of course, ENO evolved with their equipment as well. All right, let me change up to the Atlas strap and I'll show you how that works. Okay, 
Moving over to the next system was the ENO Atlas straps. And I saw these from a good friend of mine on a scout uh, weekend at, at camp, Rock Enon. He had these Atlas uh, straps, and these things are fantastic. They're longer than the um, slap strap, and you can see that the hooks, you know, or not the hooks, but the loops are every few inches. So you have a lot more options for adjusting your hammock uh, when you get it, you know, wrapped around a tree. And I really like that, and I used that for a long time, probably whew, maybe five years or more. I don't know. Um, but I really like those straps, and they're, they're really nice and give you a lot of options. And I'll show you how to set those up. Okay, and here we're set up with the Atlas strap. And you can see that the loops are every couple inches, probably. Um, this strap is also easily, let me get the other one here. It's easily 18 inches longer than the slap strap. So it does give you more options to hang it around a bigger tree. And again, there are so many loops in this thing, it makes it so much easier to adjust. Again, the wind's not cooperating with me, I apologize. But it's blown for three days out here. Um, I'll try to, if it, the wind dies down, I'll step back and show you that it's just a better hang already. Uh, but one thing the ENO hammock does not have is a, a continuous ridge line. It runs from one end to the other. And the thing I like about that is um, it allows the hammock to hang exactly the right position. So um, I think the straps are supposed to be on about a 30 degree angle or whatever, but it allows the, ha the hammock to hang the exact position, uh, which my other hammock has, and I'll show you that in just a second. Uh, you can add them. There's YouTube videos on how to do that. I think the you, what you do is you measure the length of your hammock and then um, find out what, I think it's 88% of the overall length of your hammock is, and then you can uh, add your own ridge line, and that should be just about right. You may have to adjust it a little bit, but um, that'll help it hang in the, the right position. So, all right, let me, uh, let me get my whoopee slings, and I'll show you how to do those. So last summer, um, my boys and I, we did a backpacking trip to Grayson Highlands area down um, in southern Virginia, Mount Rogers, and I wanted to lighten my hammock up a little bit and, and change uh, how I did things, and I know another guy from Scouts that used uh, the whoopee sling, and I thought, well, I'll try that. And again, this is the ENO Helios suspension system, uh, whoopee slings. Uh, you start to see a pattern here that I really like ENO products. Um, they're affordable, they're durable. Um, you know, I, I really liked them. But so I went with this and it worked out for me on several hammocking uh, outings. But I found quickly this year on my uh, through hike attempt on the Appalachian Trail that they're not necessarily long enough. Um, it, I wouldn't have thought that it would be that difficult to find two trees in the woods that were the right size to put a, a, a whoopee sling around. Uh, these things, I either had to wrap a, a smaller tree several times to get it to work, or um, the tree was too big and the rope part was still kind of wrapped around the side of the tree, and I was afraid it was going to wear that out. Um, and I just didn't like it, so um, I had to change up and go to something else. Um, I'll show you how these set up here in just one second. All right, this is the Helios Whoopi Sling with a Dutch Wear Beaner. That thing is, whew, it is less than an ounce. It weighs virtually nothing. I think it's titanium, but uh, it's a neat little buckle. Um, lightweight, secures into the Whoopi Sling area really well. Let's see if I can get that to focus. Maybe not. Um, here's the tightening mechanism. You can see that the Whoopi Sling is just basically two strings that run up to a strap. And then I have that strap attached to the swing set. All right, so let me show you how to tighten it up. What you want to do is you just need to grab, it works on the same principle as the old, um, what they call them, Chinese 
uh, thumb cuffs or something. You know, you put your two thumbs in and, and you can't pull them apart. So the one piece of rope just bites down on the other piece of rope. Um, the thing I do like about this system is the adjustments are infinite, basically. I mean, you don't have to go every couple inches to find a loop to adjust. You can adjust any length of this thing. So let me see if I can adjust this while I'm holding the camera. We'll see if this works. It may not. All right, so you probably couldn't see that, but at any rate, um, you can see that I, I did adjust it. It does have a, uh, a little stopper on the end, which keeps it from, heck on, I can't get my camera to focus today. Anyway, but that keeps it from, uh, you know, pulling all the way through the area where it uh, bites back down on itself so um, I do like I said I do like the system the, the only problem with it is the fact that the strap part isn't terribly long I don't know what that what is that five, five feet maybe so um, you know it's hard to, to wrap that around a tree and then still reach you know your hammock or you're wrapping it around multiple times I don't know it does have a little bit of wear on it I did sustain a little damage on the AT so I'm not happy about that um, but and like I said the other thing was the rope in some cases in a lot of cases the trees were too big so the rope was wrapped around the tree somewhat which provided um, an opportunity for the rope to wear and I did not like that all at all all right so let me get this system broke down Alright, so this hammock is a, it is a great hammock, don't get me wrong, I love it. It's a, it's really comfortable, I spend a lot of nights in it, um, but when you upgrade to something like the Dream Hammock, like I have now, there's really no comparison. Um, man, what a fantastic morning, it's just, the birds are singing, the, it's just beautiful out here. Anyway. So I have to kind of hang my feet out over the side and I'm going to kind of disappear here um, and lay in it uh, what I call cattywampus. That's a real word, look it up. Um, but, you know, I have to lay in it kind of sideways, diagonally, and hang my feet over the end to get more of a flat laying comfortable. I have laid in this thing before, you know, straight on like this. Well, one, I got to sleep with my legs kind of bent because your knee doesn't, you know, uh, bend that well the wrong way. I forgot how comfortable this hammock was. Um, so anyway, you know, I've had to sleep with my legs kind of bent. You end up sliding down in it. You end up in a kind of a V sometimes. Um, but it is a great beginner hammock. Please don't get me wrong. I love this hammock. Um, I have spent a lot of time in this thing. I have taken it to Dolly Sods, West Virginia, Grayson Highlands, um, scout every scout outing pretty much for for years i mean i rarely sleep in a tent anymore um, because i just don't sleep well on the ground but uh, so yeah this is the you know double nest and uh let me get the other one we'll talk about the uh my dream hammock and um, we'll set that up and i'll show you that one and then the newest suspension system i have is the um it's a system from Dutchware, and I'll put a link below in the description of um, where you can find all these things. And then I went with the, um, I think it's called a beetle clip, but this thing is, I believe it's 12 feet long. It might be a little longer than that, but I think it's 12 foot. I'll, I'll verify that for you shortly. Uh, and then I went with the, um, I think it's Myers Technology is the company that makes these. Um, it's an Amsteel EVO loop. And um, I have not had a chance to try these out. I'm going to set it up today and show you. But again, it just lightens the system up even more. Um, there's This is the only metal that's involved. There's no um, clip at this end. You just use the, uh, the Amsteel uh, loop to hook that to the tree. So I will show you how all that works here in just a second as well. 
All right, here's the Darien model hammock from the Dream Hammock Company. I really like this hammock. I'll put all the details to it in the description below, but it is 11 foot long, and I ordered it as wide as you can get it, and it's the 1.6 uh, millimeter material. So it's fairly lightweight, but uh, again, it'll hold my fat butt. Um, I think it's rated to, I don't know, 250, 280 pounds, something like that. So uh, yeah, I spent a lot of nights in that. Um, on the three weeks I was on the trail. So let me show you my new suspension system. Um, I already like it. First time I've set it up. It is the, uh, the uh, it's from the uh, Dutchware company. And it's the, I think it's the beetle clip is what they call it. Here's the beetle clip right here. And you can see it just hooks into your continuous loop. But you can already see that this strap is so long that I was able to wrap it around that big maple tree. And the way it connects is with that EVO loop and a button knot. And when this gets tension on it, that button knot will not poke through that hole. So we're gonna test it out here in just a second. But you can see there's still plenty of strap left. So, I think I already like the system a lot, even though I haven't laid in it. But you can see the material is the 1.6 um, rip stop style material. The bug net is sewn in, so it's permanently attached, which I really like that. It has a continuous ridge line, which helps that hammock maintain the form to hang in the proper um angle for a good lay these are tie outs i'm going to find a way to maybe make a loop and attach my um under quilt to each side of this to keep it from sliding uh, there was one night on the appalachian trail at rock gap that the temperatures dropped into the low 20s the wind was blowing really hard and i heard later on that the wind chills were in the single digits my water bottles froze and I was legitimately cold that night. I shivered some of the night. Um, and part of that was my underquilt had shifted down um, and was actually not under me anymore. It was off to the side and I was too cold to uncover and try to figure it out. I didn't know what was going on and I got cold. So, but I figured it out and a couple nights later. It had slipped down when I had gotten up in the middle of the night and I was able to adjust it. And uh, I never had another night that I was cold, but Rock Gap was a brutal night, and I don't want to ever have that happen again. Um, you can see it's got a tie-out right here, and then there's a cord that runs down. Right now, it's just on my hammock stand that I built in the backyard here. I usually attached it to a rock, um, but that's just to keep the uh, this area pulled away from your head. So when you've got the uh, bug net over and zipped up, it's not hitting you in the face and there's a couple pictures uh, from the trail that i had when i was in my hammock doing a video or whatever and you can see that that uh screen is down on my face so kind of made for a pain if the wind was blowing um, but most nights i set it up and i didn't uh i didn't you know worry too much about it so like i said i either you know used a rock to stack on top of the cordage um, or i ran a stake out so let me uh let me get in the hammock and show you what that's all about and how i lay in that and we'll go from there. This is my um, Ridgeline organizer. I believe that is also a hammock gear product. Um, I can't remember where I got half this stuff, but um, you know, I'd put my eyeglasses, my phone, you know, things like that. On the nights it was really cold, I slept with my phone, you know, next to me along with the battery charger. But this was a nice place to put eyeglasses and various things like that. Um, I still have. The other piece of tie down cord just in there so i know where it's at all right so let me reset the camera here and i'll lay in the sand and we'll talk about the hammock all right so this is the uh dream hammock darien model spent a lot of nights in this uh th basically three weeks um we had some really cold temperatures some really windy conditions a lot of rain and this hammock held up well it was uh really comfortable and I like it a lot it's an ASIM lay so I lay with my head up here and my feet at the opposite end kind of dangling and I'll try to show that to you here in just a second it's 
Sun's bright. Alright, so this is it. I lay pretty flat in it. It's pretty comfortable. The key to this hammock is making sure that your feet, the foot end of your hammock is uh, hanging higher than your head end. Otherwise you'll slide down toward that end of the hammock. So, um, and that's hard to do sometimes. Um, it takes some trial and error to get that right. But this is a super comfortable hammock. I love it. Um, I highly recommend it. It's lightweight. Um, I already like these new straps. Um, I like that setup. I like it a lot um, because it gives me options for uh, distance of trees and extra length and girth and all that stuff for the, the size of the tree and the distance apart. So I like it a lot. So um, again, I will put a link in the description below. Sorry, I'm squinting. The sun's shining right in my face. The leaves haven't come out on the trees yet. But I will put a link in the uh, description box to all of this uh, equipment. Um, you can see the continuous ridge line here that keeps the hammock hanging at the perfect angle. I did use this at night to um, hang my socks on to dry at the lower end toward the feet end. And then at this end up here, uh, I hung my, my uh, ball cap. I would attach it and slide it all the way uh, to the front. And then I put my uh, electronics bag up here as well and slid that all the way up. Um, and then, like I said, I kept my eyeglasses and stuff in this little organizer here, which was really nice. Um, every night I did have the uh, bug net zipped up because it just gave, you know, a little bit more barrier from the wind and stuff. But um, there really wasn't any nights that I was able to, I can remember, that I was able to sleep without putting my tarp up. So I do like the nights that you can kind of sleep out under the stars and look up and see the night sky and stuff, that's awesome, but I had the tarp deployed every night because you never knew when it was going to rain, and it rained more than it did, so, anyway, give me a second to get set, uh, to set back up here, and we'll wrap this video up. Alright y'all, thanks for watching uh, the video on my hammock setup, I got a lot of requests throughout the uh, time on the trail, and then recently when I put out a message about uh, the direction of the channel. Um, I had a lot of people ask me about covering my uh, hammock setup. So this is the hammock I'm using now. It has evolved from an ENO double nest to the Darien Dream Hammock. Um, and again, I like this hammock a lot. It's lightweight. Uh, I love the bug net, the continuous ridge line. Um, you can order them right off the shelf or you can have them customized. I had mine customized a little bit. You know, I had neon green and just some things like that to put on to make it a little different so that um, you know, I didn't get it confused with other hammocks that might have been out there on the trail or whatever. So, I'm um, looking forward to getting back out in the woods, getting some hiking and some backpacking in and some nights camping. Uh, everything's on lockdown here in Virginia. We're, we're locked down until uh, June 10th right now. So, we'll see if that order stays in place, but um, that's where we're at. So, again, thanks for watching. If you saw any value in this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, remember to subscribe to my channel and uh, ring that notification bell and select all notifications so that you receive updates anytime I release new information. So thanks for joining me. I hope you have a great weekend. Uh, be safe out there and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.